I spent three years. Now, am I gonna sit here and say, was it hard to let go? I think it took a day or two to completely lay it down and not take it back up. And the reason being is because I spent so many years of thinking what our life would be. Oh my gosh, this is the man that God has for me. He's working on him and this and this and that, right? You, let's be real, especially as a woman and being prophetic, even my imagine my imagination is crazy, okay? So, for me pumping it up too because once god popped that balloon so to say if i'm going to use that analogy blowing up that balloon it was so high i was on cloud nine when god popped it and brought me back down to really reality i realized everything i thought was a lie like i i i even deceived myself it was me as well as adding on to what the enemy was using for me to sit up in this delusion right because i began to realize this is how the enemy gets people if you ever had the spirit of divination and you never renounced it and really came out of that thing and laid it down on the altar and killed every idol and seek seek god wholeheartedly you can be deceived because these voices and then they can make you blow up the bubble oh my gosh we're gonna have this nice life and yes he was this and he was that and then when god pops it you'd be like it wasn't even that like i blew like i realized sometimes we we do it to ourselves we do it to ourselves because we grab one information and run with it. In my case, that was the thing. So when God popped it, it 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 hurt it in a sense, but then it, I got real with myself. Like you were deceived. You had scales on your eyes, and you pumped this up. You thought it was something that God never even told you. And yes, you were having dreams and all this other stuff because of what it was on your mind. Because of what God sent that because He gave you over to the idol in your heart. You wanted to, one thing. I realized when you want a thing so bad, God will give it to you. <laughs> God will give it to you. But that doesn't mean that's God's will for your life. And I want God's will for my life. The last thing I want to say about this kingdom deception thing, I, it's a scripture that talks about they built up the idols in their heart to put a stumbling block before them. I'm pra paraphrasing, but the stumbling block is you have to understand what the enemy is doing. He's trying to make your heart deferred sick. Wait, a, whole, a heart deferred makes the heart sick, right? He's trying to uh, do that to your heart because you won't be able to receive the promises, right? He's trying to make you wait on something that ain't never going to come because some things God will give you over to, but it's some things God is like, I'm protecting you from that. Even if baby, no, no, that ain't never going to come. Okay. So you wait on for a man for years and years and years and years. And here you thinking, Oh, the promises of God are not yes. And amen. Because clearly I've been waiting. I've been praying. I've been fasting. And God is like, you're praying amiss that's not your husband here you are praying for a man so to say this may not be the case but i just want to give you an example here you are praying for a man that i've been left okay i i baby okay and your husband that i assigned to you he's getting hit because he's not being covered he you're not being his help me right so it just began to open my eyes god is really opening my eyes and working on me like doing spiritual surgery on me in this season right now he's opening my eyes to so much i'm just laying down so much right seeking first the kingdom of god letting go of the idols letting go of like tiffany montgomery said the idols are falling like when i say the idols are falling and as the idols fall god is just bringing me so much revelation like you know we put ourselves in these situations and this is why i'm big on we are not victims we are uh we are conquerors through christ jesus right we put ourselves in these situations. We do these things to ourselves because of our ignorance, because of our ignorance of God's knowledge. We go out and want to be so excited about relationships, so excited about starting a business, so excited about doing this and that and this and that. And we don't even sit here and think, okay, unless God built it, it's in vain. So then we go off and spend years and years and energy. And when, when it fails, when it be all in vain, then we go boohoo crying to God and then we're so hurt and then it's hard for us to let go. Then we go in the psychotic, psychotic state of if I can't have him, nobody else could. No, I didn't spend all these years. I'm not letting it go to waste. Then we go cuckoo crazy because we didn't did all this when we didn't realize we didn't count the costs. We didn't sit here and think about God's principles. We put ourselves in this predicament because we didn't really understand what God meant by unless he built it, it's all in vain. So with that being said, make sure y'all count the cost before you build a thing. That is anything, okay? 
see see okay this is why people are going insane like i said it starts off casually it's slowly the enemy likes the young lion a person which means slowly but surely he gonna catch you in that snare slowly but surely he's gonna get you because you gotta understand he's working on your mind as you're being led to the slaughterhouse okay you don't just get to the slaughterhouse and be oh everything's good no you you already been got discombobulated okay your spirit already defiled so it's easy for you to go psych crazy out of nowhere people don't go insane just wake up and be crazy no it's slowly but surely it happens and that's because you begin to you you value what you invest your time in and as you invest your time in this and you get to a point you get to a point it was nothing but the grace of god that kept me when that revelation that came upon me because like i said you can spend years in a thing and you come to find out it was nothing that that hurts that's a blow that can put you down if you ain't got christ so just be intentional i did not want to make this video go long but i felt god pulling on me to speak on that maybe that's something you need to sit with kill the idols in your heart and once you kill the idols in the heart then ask god right because god is going to give you over to what you idolize so if you're idolizing this man and this relationship and this fantasy then god is going to give you that but that doesn't always mean that's god right the enemy sends signs too the bible talks about uh this this generation it they they we idolize so to say miracle signs and wonders like you got to stand on god and his word and understand what god is saying to you i'm not sitting here saying god didn't tell you that's your husband that, that's your wife he may have did i'm just telling you my story and a lot of stories i didn't heard that we got to be real with ourselves we cannot be idolizing people and we got to know when god speaks and we have to know god's principles and stand on that thing okay don't build a thing unless God told you to build it. Unless and, and if God told you to build it, build it on his principles. Okay? Because it's all going to be in vain. And you're going to find yourself just at this place when you find out it's all in vain because you didn't count the cost. You're going to be in a state of, I don't know. Okay? Nothing but God's grace can keep you and his mercy that can keep you. Okay? That's it. I'm going to end it here. I don't want to make this video too much longer. I hope you guys took something from it. Go out and be a light in this dark world. And I'll talk to you guys soon.